I'm Colleen Wolf with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. It took overtime to settle the Chargers and Raiders matchup Thursday night. Derek Carr left the first quarter after suffering a groin injury, and Marcus Mariota filled in admirably. But the rookie Justin Herbert was the story. Herbert threw two touchdown passes and rushed for the game winner to beat the Raiders 30-27. to In other quarterback news, Drew Brees' status for Sunday against the Chiefs is still up in the air. Sean Payton said Thursday, Brees needs to be throwing without soreness, but will monitor everything through the week and make nation. In Washington, Alex Smith missed practice again on Thursday with the strained calf. He injured on Sunday. Head coach Ron Rivera said Smith could play Sunday against the Seahawks despite not practicing this week. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. enrolls you into recurring automated text messages. Message and data rates may apply. This is a special message for all American men over the age of 40. I'm Frank the Big Hurt. After all, I just couldn't stay in shape like I used to. I know plenty of guys my age that have just let it all go. Turns out, once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. So I got back into the game with Nugenics. If you want to get back in the game and get your edge back, you need Nugenics. You can get a complimentary bottle. All you have to do is Send them a text. Text BREAK to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. With Nugenics, I've increased my lean muscle and feel stronger with more energy and endurance. And guys, take it from me. She'll like it too. Text BREAK to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. The number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. But Nugenics samples are not available in stores. So text BREAK to 321321 right now. Text B-R-E-A-K to 321321. We are the Imperial Valley, AM 1230 KXOL Central California. Good morning, Gene. Good morning. Have you talked to Santa yet? Uh, no, I haven't, but I'm uh, going to be a very good listener this morning. Okay. I would suggest that you put, uh, you know, somewhere in your iPhone, um, put a note down that today from three till six is the last opportunity to talk to Santa. We've, um, we've prevailed upon him to hang around the KXO studios and, uh, you know, he's been doing that for the last two weeks from three till six. But it's kind of crunch time at the North Pole and he's got to get back. Yeah, it's kind of the same sound you hear if you're Santa Claus walking on the snow. Crunch. Yes. Crunch. Yeah. So this afternoon from three till six, Santa will be in the KXO studios and children of any age. You hear that, Jack Kirby? Even you can call and talk to Santa. Okay? Even Jack Kirby. Yeah. I'm sure he's been a good boy all year. <laughs> yeah, just ask Just ask him. He'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. Now, why are we doing this? Okay. Why this, are we doing what? You mean with Santa Claus? Why, why did we make arrangements? Spared no expenses to uh, bring Santa in? Well, it would have been anti-holiday, uh, holiday, Christmas, otherwise. Exactly. And if you listen, you'll hear why. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I'm Santa. your elf. I'm Santa. I'm your elf. Where's your... Oh, you have one of my elves? Yes, but it's a stuffed animal one. I have two elves. One is touching my nose. Oh, <laughs> okay. My name is Katie. Okay, Kaylee. Um, so now, what would you like for... Uh, what would you like for Christmas? Um, I would like a hoverboard, and I would like something else, but this is for one of my parents. Now, the hoverboard is kind of a little bit hard to use. Do you think that you're you're comfy being able to ride on a hoverboard? I already know how to ride it. Oh, I, that makes it I easy ride then. It, I ride it. I it since I was since I was five. What? I have two brothers. Oh, will you talk to my brother Dylan here? Okay. Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus, Dylan. Look. Look, Dylan. Come on. Don't be shy, Dylan. <laughs> uh, you're shy. 
Yes, come on. <laughs> tell him, it's because my brother is shy. Tell him the, the San, tell him the He's Santa shy. is nice. What's up? Don't be shy. Come on. <laughs> it's really Santa Claus. Come on. Go on. Say, say your words. What I want for Christmas is a computer. A computer. Can I talk to my brother Kevin? Okay. Come on, don't be shy. Come over here. Santa Claus. Oh, I know what my brother will like. Come oh. on, say your own words. Okay. Tell Santa Claus what you really want for Christmas. Come on. Hi, Santa. Hi, Kevin. How are you today? Well, I'm very, I'm very good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. And Kevin, do you know what you would like for Christmas? Um, yeah. I want an electric guitar. I mean, I like music. I I used to go to a music class, and I'm pretty much a fanatic about music. Well, wonderful. What a wonderful thing that would be, and that you would be able to enjoy that all year long. It's not like a toy that you would get tired of, right? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. 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 I know him. Do you know what I really get out of that, Gene? The the older brothers went right along. And, you know, how many older brothers would have just shined on and said, hey, you know, go away, kid. Right. Uh, and they just went along. I don't think anybody told them otherwise. I don't think so either. But, uh, you know, that's got to be a lot of love in that. In the family? Yep. Well, it was... That was a pretty good coaching job there. Yeah. Okay, how about some birthdays? How about? Actress Cicely Tyson, 96. Actor Roger Mosley from Magnum P.I., 82. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones is 148. (laughs) Director Steven Spielberg, 74. And uh, Elliot Easton, he plays guitar for The Cars, 67. Actor Ray Liotta, 66. Comedian Ron White, 64. Singer Angie Stone, 59. Actor Brad Pitt, 57. Wrestler, actor Stone Cold Steve Austin, 56. Actor Sean Christian, 55. Actor Rachel Griffith is 52. Actor Josh Dallas, 42. Actor Katie Holmes is 42. Singer Christina Aguilera, 40. Actor Ashley Benson, 31. Actor Bridget Mendler is 28. Billie Eilish is 18. And actor Isabella Crovetti is 16. The coronavirus is affecting everyone. Must wear face coverings when out. What do I do? What are you going to do? When this is all over. When this is all over. When this is all over. What are you going to do? Going to a concert. School. Having dinner with friends. Take better care of each other. Support local shops and stores. Offering more help to others. This should be over soon. Let's celebrate our KXO birthdays. Happy birthday, Alfredo Villa. Nicole Velasquez, Serena Cardona, Eduardo Jacobo, Roberto Ronquillo, Valerie Robles, Heather Manis, Emilio Corona, Kane Garibaldi, Lorraine Holt, Julia Dorantes, Claudia Ferro, Diana Harvey, Gabriel Jimenez, Guadalupe Gonzalez, Olivia Kearns, Teresa Maldonado, Kathy Gonzalez, Aubrey Alvarado, and River Hoffman. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay. And many more. Yeah. I did. We got a big weekend coming up. Football doubleheader tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into the news and we'll update everything that's going on around the valley as well. Are you Pro- ready? Promise. Promise. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's World in California News Headlines right now, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning. They are your year-round comfort specialists. For sales, for service, call the experts, Lock Air Conditioning and Heating. CBS News Special Report, a setback for opponents of the president's census plan. The Supreme Court has just dismissed a challenge to Mr. Trump's strategy 
not to count undocumented immigrants. Correspondent Cammie McCormick has late-breaking details. This decision is not a final ruling, but it says the challenge to President Trump's plan is premature since it isn't clear how many people it would involve or exclude. The president wants to exclude people living in the country illegally from the population count that's used to allot state seats in the House of Representatives. The Supreme Court says it's too soon to rule on the actual legality of the plan and whether the division of House seats would actually be affected. The 6-3 to three ruling on ideological lines with the court's six conservatives in the majority, the three liberals dissenting. It gives Mr. Trump a short-term victory as he pursues his hardline policies toward immigration in the final weeks of his presidency. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Whatever the weather brings this winter, you can rely on a York Affinity Premium System to keep your home warm and comfortable. You'll get maximum efficiency thanks to advanced technology and helping to significantly reduce your energy bills. Plus, you can stay connected via our Wi-Fi enabled touchscreen thermostat. Every York unit is designed, engineered, and assembled in the United States and backed by industry-leading warranties. Affordable financing options are available. Call Lock Air Conditioning your local York dealer at 760-353-4501. That's 353-4501 to schedule a free evaluation of your system. York, install confidence. Contractor's license 696-216. California headline news, soaring COVID numbers across the state with the mayor of Los Angeles announcing an infection in his family. Our beloved daughter, Maya, who turned nine this weekend, wasn't feeling very well. And after she came down with a fever, we had her tested for COVID-19 and her results came back positive. Mayor Eric Garcetti says her symptoms are mild. He and his wife have tested negative. They'll be quarantining his daughter isolating for at least 10 days from the time she started showing symptoms. San Diego County suspending enforcement of the modified stay-at-home order involving restaurants. Rufords is open again. We're hoping that we can just continue like we were before. I'm sure something else is going to happen as it always does. The county taking the action after a judge ruled that two local strip clubs that were ordered to shut down can now reopen. 28% of California small business owners say they may have to close their doors in the next 90 days but only temporarily. 17% said they close up for good. Others saying they've been pushed to the brink with revenues in the doldrums. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. Your year-round comfort specialist for sales for service. You call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning. Custom sheet metal and yes, they can fix your heater. You decided to upgrade your outdoor deck. So you ordered the essentials. A power washer, a set of patio chairs, and a shiny new grill. And you use your Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card, choosing to earn 3% cash back on online shopping and up to 5.25% as a preferred rewards member, which you put towards your most essential deck addition, a bird feeder. Apply for yours at bankofamerica.com slash more rewarding. Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. On any day in December, Pizza Hut can give to you the Triple Treat Box. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and Cinnabon mini rolls. Order online at PizzaHut.com. Know it out, Pizza's the Hut. Exclusions apply. Combinability of discounts, specials, prices, and participation vary. Additional charge for extra topics and pressing. Would you like a cleaning product that can be used in the garage, the laundry, and the kitchen, and save space in your cabinet? Hi, I'm Bruce Fabrizio, inventor of Simple Green. To learn more, visit us at simplegreen.com. Simple California headline news, new legislation in the pipeline to reform California's mandatory minimum state laws. State Senator Scott Weiner recently unveiling SB 73. If signed into law, it will give judges more flexibility in sentencing drug-related offenses. Jeanette Zanapatin, director of the Drug Policy Alliance, says the bill will help make a dent in reducing mass incarceration. Zanapatin added that sentencing some individuals to probation rather than prison could free up billions of dollars to spend on education and health care. California News, I'm Jeff Scott. And it's uh, page one of the local news. Page one of service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They've got two locations in the valley. In the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. And on Imperial Avenue, right next to Food for Less in El Centro. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Friday morning. The death toll surges in the COVID-19 uh, cases. Here is uh, an update. The latest COVID-19 update released Thursday morning. It was released by the County Public Health Department. According to the latest update, 
The deaths attributed to COVID-19 are at 394. That's up from 388 reported on Wednesday. New cases per day per 100,000 population are at 139.62. Positivity rate is now at 39.92%. 101,629 have now tested for the virus. 20,003 have tested positive. 17,134 have recovered. There are currently 2,475 active cases of COVID-19 in Imperial County. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. A three-car collision disrupted traffic uh, Thursday night. According to the California Highway Patrol, the accident occurred at PM at Clark and Heber Road. When a vehicle crashed into a utility pole, three vehicles ended up involved in the collision with power lines down and road closures necessary. At one point, uh, the road uh, between McCabe and Clark Roads and Clark and Wall Roads were shut down while emergency personnel cleared the accident scene and IID crews uh, worked to uh, remove a utility pole from the top of one vehicle and repair the damage. The closures remained in effect until early this morning. One person suffered moderate injuries in the collision. The accident remains under investigation. KXO News Time 744. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro service all makes and all models and never need an appointment. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers ready to take care of your automotive service needs. Tires, brakes, batteries, AC service, alignments, lube oil and filter change, and more. Quick Lane and Auto Centers on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro. And in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. The Coronavirus Relief Fund is in the news this morning. George Gale filed this story. The Imperial County Board of Supervisors has announced that funds are available to assist local businesses impacted by the stay-at-home order. Coronavirus Relief Fund program can provide up to $10,000 grants for qualifying local businesses and nonprofit organizations. Applicants must be able to provide documentation to support at least one of several categories, delinquent rent or mortgage payments incurred from March through November 2020, delinquent utility payments incurred March through November 2020, other expenses incurred due to the state of California stay-at-home order related to the coronavirus pandemic. Funds are available to businesses and organizations located within Imperial County, including cities and unincorporated areas. Deadline for application is December 24th, 2020. Applications are available on the Imperial County website. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A new logo for the Imperial Valley College. It has been released to Facebook and other media. They say the new logo embraces the sun's uh, color and welcoming warmth in which it represents the college's uh, team as it serves their students and community. They say it promotes the inclusiveness that the college offers to all who place their trust in IBC, advance uh, their education. The new logo was recently released and has already been seen on social media and billboards around the Imperial Valley. IVC Superintendent President Dr. Martha Garcia says IVC will be utilizing new logo to represent uh, innovation, optimism, freshness, and a future for their students that is bright and full of possibilities. That concludes. Clean Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. It's our 24 hour gift to you the magic of Christmas, an Imperial Valley tradition on AM 1230, beginning at noon Christmas Eve, continuing through noon Christmas Day. Brought to you by. Imperial Valley Family Care. All state insurance agents, Ubi and Lucy Bermudez. And by KXO on AM 1230. The magic of Christmas. Page two of the local news and in-depth weather. Brought to you by David H. Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement. 
Continuing with more local news, the $50,000 question is, was land sold? Here's more on the story. If it was, was the sale legal? The issue is the sale of 2.5 acres of land reportedly sold to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for $26,700. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers wants the land to uh, construct a second border wall. Clexco Mayor Rosie Fernandez admitted the, uh, to signing the uh, documents to sell the land without a vote from the entire city council. The issue for the city council is this week at their meeting this week a couple of groups began to protest not the legality of the sale but the purpose of the land was going to be used for coalition of human immigrant rights and imperial valley equity and justice coalition complained about the possible construction of an additional border wall they said the land could be put but to use the uh, council decided not to be issue and to continue the matter until they could get more information for KXL local news. I'm George Gale. The Calexico Unified School District has filed a suit against the city of Calexico. The lawsuit claims the city of Calexico failed to ensure construction project applicants paid the district's uh, school impact fees. Previously, the district uh, had filed a claimed that the city over the issue and filed the lawsuit only after not hearing a response from the city. The Calexico Unified School District claims to have found discrepancies between the records of building permits issued by the city. The district says the city issued building permits but neglected to require certification from the district that the school district had received payment of the required school impact fees. According to CUSD, based on initial records, the city not paid the approximately $1 million impact fee required. A cocaine seizure in Imperial County, George Gale has story. It happened earlier this week. Yuba Sector Border Patrol agents were working the interstate a bull canine alerted to an SUV waiting in line. Vehicle was sent to the secondary inspection area. Agents searching the vehicle discovered three vacuum-sealed packages in a duffel bag. Packages contained 7.7 pounds of cocaine valued at around $54,000. Agents also discovered a handgun in the waistband of the 38-year-old driver of the SUV. Driver also was in possession of small amounts of methamphetamine, marijuana, and drug paraphernalia. Two loaded magazines were also found in the vehicle. A driver, U.S. citizen, was arrested. Narcotics, weapons, and the magazines, as well as the vehicle, were all seized by the Border Patrol agents. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Have you received notice that your Medicare health plan is changing or going away? Are you turning 65 soon or are you newly eligible to Medicare and have questions about your Medicare options? Then give David or Jose a call at David H. West Insurance to learn about the ABCs of Medicare. Don't delay. Call David H. West Insurance Services now at 760-352-3411. That's 760-352-3411. That's David H. West Insurance. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, a dry disturbance moving today will lead to breezy northerly winds along the lower Colorado River Valley and continued near normal temperatures elsewhere. A slow warming trend will allow for high temperatures to push above seasonal normals starting Sunday, lasting through early next week. The warmest day is likely to be Monday with highs potentially near 75 degrees. However, mornings will remain cold and dip into the mid to upper 30s to low 40s through at least Sunday night. No precipitation is expected through the next seven days. Our high yesterday, 64 degrees, 39 the low. So today with a high near 70, north wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Clear tonight with a low around 40, northwest wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming south-southwest after midnight. Saturday, sunny with a high near 70, light winds becoming north about 5 miles an hour. Sunday, sunny with a high near 73, light wind. 
We have 45 degrees downtown, 63% relative humidity. The wind is calm. Page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. El Centro Motors can help your family make holiday joy with their end-of-the-year deals. Drive a new Ford F-150, the best-selling vehicle anywhere. Or try the style and luxury of the Ford Expedition. And of course, the rugged Explorer that takes you where you want to go. And how about 0% financing for 60 months on a 2020 Ford F-150 and $2,000 trade assist with your qualified trade-in? Excludes Raptor. Not all buyers will qualify. See dealer for qualifications and details. Hi, Mike Morris here from El Centro Motors. So remember, if you don't come see me first, I can't save any money. It's just that easy. Now is the time to buy your vehicle at El Centro Motors. It's time. A big, big Thursday night game, and the Chargers prevailed in overtime. They beat the Raiders 30-27. to 27. Uh, Well, it was uh, kind of a shootout. Marcus Mariota, and, uh, well, he filled in for the injured Derek Carr. And, uh, well, what can I say? Justin Herbert, he... Uh, Snuck it in from one yard out on a third and goal for the victory. Uh, and, hey, at the start of the game, Coach John Gruden began the game against the Los Angeles Chargers wearing a cap that read Los, uh, it read Oakland Raiders. Baja Farms in Holtville has been farming for many years and takes pride in what they've accomplished with their operation. It has enabled them to support their communities and support youth of Imperial Valley from FFA to 4-H, youth sports, and academics. Baja Farms hopes to continue this for many years. And here's a message from your friends at Baja Farms. During these trying times, be safe, stay healthy, and God bless America. We've got a double hair you tomorrow. NFL, Buffalo Bills, Denver Broncos at 1230. We'll follow with the Carolina Panthers and the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, and then uh, football Monday night. Yeah, we've got football for you. Speaking of football, Drew Brees will start for the Saints. Yeah, uh, he's uh, he's back. And uh, the uh, action will continue. Uh, oh, by the way, there is college football action tonight. Oregon and USC, uh, they will meet. And uh, see, are you ready? USC 5-0 and on the year so far. Uh, that's it for sports. Uh, coming up, show news. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full color brochures, blueprints, and high speed copies to business forms and everything else in between imperial printers rocket copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing thank you for choosing locally owned and operated imperial printers rocket copy we have convenient locations near you at 430 west main street and 100 south 11th street in el centro and 184 south plaza in brawley it's financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by El Centro Regional Medical Center. We're ready and open to serve your family. Taking a look at financial news, China's top chip maker was already having a rough week. Now, well, the problems are much worse. The U.S. today slapped harsh restrictions on semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, as the Trump administration continues to pile pressure on Chinese firms during its final week. The Commerce Department announced that dozens of Chinese companies, including SMIC, would be added to a so-called entity list that effectively cuts them off from U.S. suppliers and technology. 
Meanwhile, Coca-Cola is planning to cut 2,200 jobs, including 1,200 in the U.S. as it faces declining sales during the pandemic. The reductions include voluntary and involuntary separations, and the severance packages are expected to cost the company between $350 and $550 million. Meanwhile, Dow Jones Industrial is off 140 points, S&P 500 down 15, the NASDAQ off uh, 6, gold down $1.30 an ounce, and oil is up 73 cents a barrel. Did you know that if you are at risk of COVID-19, you may qualify for a research study? If you think your job may be putting you at risk during the COVID-19 pandemic, you may be able to take part in a COVID-19 vaccine clinical research study. Participants will have the opportunity to potentially receive the investigational vaccine, which will be provided at no cost to you. Visit www.com covidvaccineiv.com to see if you are eligible. That's covidvaccineiv.com. It will be sunny today with a high near 70, north wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Clear tonight with a low around 40, northwest wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming south-southwest after midnight. Saturday will be sunny with a high near 70, light winds becoming north about 5 miles an hour. 46 degrees, 63% of humidity, the wind is calm, and air quality throughout the Imperial Valley right now is good. Yeah, take a deep breath and enjoy. Uh, well, that's it for financial news and the weather brought to you by El Central Regional Medical Center, ECRMC, open to care. Handle it all with happy Honda days. Shopping for that perfect present? The Honda Accord and Civic Sedan can get you there. Take on the season with financing as low as 0.9% APR on the 2020 Accord and as low as 1.9% APR on the 2020 Civic Sedan on select models from well-qualified buyers. See your Southwest Desert Honda dealer today. See dealer for financing details. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. KXO. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kathan, a win for the Trump administration, but it may be fleeting. CBS's Cammy McCormick says the Supreme Court dismissed a challenge to the bid to exclude people here illegally from the census. The court said the challenge was premature since it isn't clear how many people this would exclude. In fact, those numbers may not be ready until after the inauguration and Joe Biden becomes president. One lawyer said today's decision was more about timing than whether the Trump administration plan complies with federal law. It was hoping to remove millions of non-citizens from the census count, which determines how many seats each state gets in the House of Representatives. A very public display of confidence in the Pfizer vaccine today from Vice President Mike Pence. Like any vaccine, you could have a pretty sore arm at the injection site, maybe some redness. He was inoculated on TV this morning, says he didn't feel a thing, and indicated hope is on the way. His wife was vaccinated, so was the Surgeon General. Dr. Anthony Fauci says he intends to get a shot next week. The speed was a reflection of extraordinary scientific advances and did not compromise safety, nor did it compromise scientific integrity. And the FDA could give emergency use authorization to a second vaccine from the drug maker Moderna later today. The coronavirus situation in California is dire. Michael Rivera is a respiratory therapist. It is nothing compared to the suffering that these patients are going through. This is torture on a scale that I can't get my head around. All ICU beds in Southern California hospitals are full. CBS's Nancy Cordes says virus relief from Congress is an essential for millions of people. As negotiations over a stimulus bill drag on, food banks just miles from the Capitol are being inundated. Radha Muthaya of Capital Area Food Bank says the number of local people in need has grown by 50%. They used to be our volunteers. They used to be our donors. They never anticipated being on the other side of the line, so to speak, and, and asking for food. Major job cuts are coming to a big name in soft drinks. CBS's Jim Crisula. 
With sales losing some of their fizz because of the pandemic, Coca-Cola will cut 2,200 jobs worldwide. 1,200 of the cuts will be in the U.S., 500 of them in Atlanta, where Coke is headquartered. Coke had earlier announced it was offering voluntary separation packages to 4,000 workers in the U.S. and Canada. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 139 points. NASDAQ is down 7 points. This is CBS News. Brought to you by Capital One. Capital One's banking app lets you manage your money anytime, anywhere. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A. At Target, we know a good deal means a great deal. This week through Saturday, December 19th, it's time to finish off your list with deals on Apple. Save up to 30% on home appliances and up to 30% off toys and games. With the holiday clock ticking, it's never too late to make a lasting impression. With last-minute gifts for everyone on your list. Shop in-store and at Target.com. Bring more to every moment for less. Only at Target. Exclusions apply. It's Super Saturday at Kohl's. Take an extra 20 or 15% off. Get a Magic Bullet Blender, $33.99, 30% off toys, and save on Sonicare Electric Toothbrushes, $24.99. Plus, get Kohl's cash. Plus, fast and free store pickup. Give with all your heart. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Select sales, 20 and 15% offers valid December 10th through December 20th with promo code Big Saving. Toys, offers, and coupons do not apply. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. There's a follow-up to the caught-on-tape rant of a Hollywood superstar. Tom Cruise is reportedly taking an early holiday leave from Mission Impossible 7 days after he excoriated crew members for failing to properly socially distance. I don't want to see you again, ever! And if you don't do it, you're fired! The Sun tabloid says he's wrapping filming today and flying to Miami on his private jet to spend Christmas with his son, Connor. Five members of the mission crew reportedly quit after Cruz dressing down. Supporters say his only goal was to keep movie production up and running. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. The annual Berlin Film Festival in Germany was put off this year due to the pandemic. Next year, it's going to be split into two parts. A virtual festival will be held online in March. Then a summer event is planned with screenings inside and outside. Steve Kathan. CBS News. You've got Carol Buckley, the best oldies on the radio. Oh, I like it. I love it. 